Hi, I'm Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge, and I'm going to explain the basic machine interface. Uh, the basic machine interface from Razor Gauge is how the Razor Gauge interfaces with another machine. Uh, it's called the basic machine interface because it used to be pretty basic. It was just a tool safe sensor or uh, a limit switch, basically, that would be mounted on the saw and when the saw was in a safe position, in other words, in a position where the razor gauge can move without pushing material into the saw, the switch would be depressed. Now, over the years, that basic machine interface has, has grown to include a lot of different iterations. So I'm going to explain several of those right now. Like I said, the standard tool safe sensor is just a limit switch. When uh, you buy the razor gauge, this is wired into the enclosure, and it's on a long lead, and you can mount it in your saw or outside the saw so that whenever the saw is in a safe position, this button is depressed, closing contacts in the switch so that we uh, have a complete circuit uh, on our tool safe input. That means the razor gauge is allowed to move. When the saw comes off of the switch, the razor gauge stops and it won't move until the switch is made again. The other thing the tool safe sensor does, since we know when the saw comes off the switch and comes back on, we can use that to automatically advance the razor gauge uh, when you're working in a cut list screen where there is a list of parts and we detect that the saw has cycled then the razor gauge moves to the next position on the list. So it does a couple nice things uh, for not a lot of extra money. Um, so another part of the BMI is the uh, saw enable valve or it's a saw enable output and sometimes we put a valve on the saw enable output and sometimes we put a relay. Very often it's uh, what we call our air safety. Uh, it's a four-way valve that we ins that when you receive the grazer gauge it'll be installed with the lead coming from this connector into the enclosure and you can mount it wherever you want. But what it does is it, it diverts the flow of air coming from a device that cycles the saw. For example this saw has a foot pedal. So when you press the foot pedal the saw cycles. So when you press the foot pedal, an air signal is sent to uh, the logic in the saw that makes it cycle. So when the razor gauge is moving, we will shift this valve so that air that normally would come from this operator to the air logic, that air gets diverted to atmosphere when the razor gauge is moving. That way you can't cycle the saw when the razor gauge is moving. So that's the air safety. Now, so far it's pretty simple. Tool safe sensor and air safety. Uh, but the thing is, not everybody has a saw that runs with an uh, air powered foot pedal. Sometimes the saw has a PLC or relay logic and we need to perform these signals electronically. So that's where we get into the BMI relay option. With the relay option, we install a relay in our enclosure that basically does similar function to the air safety, but uh, there is no air involved. So if the saw has a controller that has an input that wants to know when the razor gauge is moving and therefore knows not to cycle, we'll connect that input to the saw safe relay or the saw enable relay. Um, we can also have a relay for the tool safe sensor. Um, it can be in our enclosure or it can be in the saw's enclosure where when the saw is cycling uh, it closes at the contacts on the relay and we pick up that input and therefore the razor gauge won't move. Now we have a new option that uh, makes installing the tool safe sensor simpler. Uh, one of the negative things about this tool safe sensor is you have to mount it. But a lot of saws, like I said earlier, have pneumatic logic. So oftentimes there is a pneumatic signal that is sent when the saw is in the safe position. 
for example, this saw, when I press the foot pedal, um, I get a signal from this airline. So I'm going to cycle the saw. And you can see when the saw starts to cycle, I get an air signal. When the saw is in the safe position, I don't have any air signal. So on a saw like this, I just need to convert that air signal to a contact closure and I can get that tool safe input. So what this option is called our P to E, P to E, pneumatic to electric. Uh, it is a pressure sensor that mounts in the side of the enclosure. All you have to do is tee off of the air signal airline and plug it into the P to E switch. So now when the uh, saw cycles, we get this signal and when the signal disappears, we know the saw is safe. Uh, on the inside of the enclosure, what that looks like is, you can see this is our little P to E switch. Uh, we have three terminals. Uh, this inside one is normally closed this one is normally open and this is the common so we have it hooked up to the normally closed configuration because when there's no signal no air signal that means the saw is safe and we want to close those contacts in that condition if on the other hand we got an air signal when the saw was safe then we would move this wire to that terminal So that is a brief explanation of the basic machine interface that we offer from Razor Gauge. Now, the Razor Gauge is very configurable, and so we can modify that I.O. setup to work with your machine almost regardless of what it is. So thanks, and give us a call if you have any questions.